Matthews. At small forward, Derek Jones. At the other forward, PJ Washington. At center, Daniel Gafford. At shooting guard, Kyrie Irving. At the other guard, Luka Doncic. The head coach of the visiting team is Jason Kidd. presents the NBA. In this game, you'll see the Sacramento Kings against the Dallas Mavericks. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Tim Hardaway. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point out there. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. P.J. Washington is out there with Jones. And it's Gafford in at the center filling out the middle. And for the Kings, Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Ellis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Sabonis in at the pivot spot manning the middle. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Players, as we can see, starting to wear down this late in the season. you got to be careful of that, Doris. How important, then, is depth at this point of the year? Yeah, Kevin, it's critical. It's almost impossible not to have some nicks and bumps as the season winds down. Teams that can use their whole bench typically have an advantage down the stretch because you can rest those guys who maybe are a little bit more banged up than you'd like to see. First point of the night, and you know this is going to be a battle of matchups. What's going to be fascinating to watch is which matchups are they willing to go exploit. Now, here's Sabonis. Back to Fox. Just five to shoot. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Ellis can't get it to go. Pass to Irving. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the Kings. Ellis right side. And there's the pass to Sabonis. Here's Fox. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. And a fantastic finish. I, I just love seeing Fox work his way through contact and converting. Doncic kicks to Irving. Foul in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Personal foul. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. 
And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. comes to Luka Doncic. He's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. Now, here's Fox. Finding around 26 and a half points a game really has an off night. And love the focus for Murray. He wants to make the most of his opportunity. against Doncic. Trains it from beyond the arc. Doncic has got five now. Boy, not a bad beginning. Three for four from the floor. Pretty good start. Fox finds a bonus. Ellis wide open. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. The Mavericks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. No good on the three. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And Fox gets it to go. Nice work inside from the smaller Fox. So cunning and crafty around the rim. against Ellis. Irving kicks to Doncic. The teardrop falls in. He has seven. He is now three for four to start this game. Clearly the confidence is already building. Up top, Sabonis. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Murray, good. And really since day one in the NBA, Murray's shown has the ability to knock down the three. You can't give him space, especially in the corner. Now, here is Irving. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. He produces green on Fox. And Gafford yeah, throws it down. Yeah, the court awareness that Luca plays Luka with knows exactly when and where to deliver the pass. To the middle. And slam dunk by Sabonis. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking. But they just got down to business and never let up. I thought what really stood out was how dominant they were on the offensive end. That was about as flawless as you could hope for. Here's Fox after Luka Doncic's bucket. Sabonis' is screen on Jones. Just four to shoot. Here's Barnes. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, just take the hit, maintain your focus. Nice scoring finish by Barnes. Irving dishes to Doncic. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. And he makes good on the layup. Doncic has got 11. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. To the paint, here's Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. Yeah, Fox has got great leaping ability, and he likes to get up off the ground there for the flush. Doncic passes to Washington. Washington with the screen on Ellis. Irving for three. It's not going to go for him. The Kings have gone 7-9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. Pass to Fox. Back to Ellis. From downtown, good and a nice assist from Fox. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jump shots. Average trail by three. Anjic passes to Irving. 
on the wing, Doncic. Guarded by Fox. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First person foul. That's on Keegan Murray. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. First one falls for him. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State, Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. All free throws good from Doncic. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Well, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Doncic against Fox. Now, here's Doncic. Defense right on him. That shot off the mark. Fox passes to Barnes. Outside, Sabonis. Fox inside the line. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. Sabonis has got his third assist time on out, the night. Out. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. And a moment here to look at some of the stats for De'Aaron Fox. Averaging around 26 points per, five assists and four rebounds. And, and most important of all is his passing. He's a terrific distributor in their offense. But certainly one of his best attributes, creating offense even when it looks like there's nothing there. Now, here's Doncic. 13 points in the game. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Outside, Sabonis. He dishes it to Fox. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Fox against Doncic. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Irving's got five. But Kyrie has so many options when he runs the pick and roll. He runs it to perfection. Barnes finds a bonus. Now Fox. No good on the triple. Washington with it. Hasn't made one yet. Irving dishes to Doncic. Pass to Washington. Gafford against Sabonis. Jones for three. Gets it to go Derek from Jones. beyond the arc. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Fox. His last outing, he had 18 points. Sabonis, no good. Ellis against Irving. Over Ellis. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Doncic. Seven points for Kyrie Irving. Well, you know you're going to see some great ball handling when Kyrie is on the floor. Nice finish. Sabonis kicks to Murray. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they've repeatedly probed inside Defense in the first foul. half, guys, and, and it's DJ paid off. And a moment here to take first, a look first, at the scoring breakdown for the Kings. Foul. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. 
The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. Here's what Sacramento's going with right now. JaVale McGee's checked in for Sabonis. Kevin Herter comes in for Barnes. And it's Malik Monk in for Ellis. He throw good Murray. And with his mobility, Murray doesn't need the ball in his hands all the time to be effective. His movement and energy alone puts pressure on the defense. Now, here's Doncic. This game had 28 points. How about the big guy attacking the rim? The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. Sacramento's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Fox against Doncic. Fox passes to Murray. Outside, Fox. Shoots over Doncic. Fox, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Doncic finds Washington. Green with a screen on Murray. Here's Hardaway and Dallas again with the buck. Hardaway. Guys, you want to be able to score from all three levels, and Hardaway Jr. is capable. That instance, mid-range is on point. And it's McGee atop the key. Again, the miss by the Kings. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Doncic against Fox. There's Green with the three. It's hauled in by the Kings. 137 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Murray. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Doors, when we look at the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like a team that has shown they want to win now. Kevin, I think their ownership has never been afraid to pull the trigger on a big trade. The Mavs are not about just making it to the playoffs. This is an organization that seeks the ultimate prize, and that is to win an NBA championship. Free throw, good. Murray. Sabonis, he's checked in for Sacramento. Davian Mitchell comes in for Fox. The Mavericks also with a sub. Kleba's checked in. And so Murray nails both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Mitchell against Doncic. Pass to Kleba. Puts up a three. Good. And the assist That's goes to Doncic. Doncic has got six assists in the game. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Doncic outside. Another three for Dallas. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And the pass to Sabonis. And Lively pulls it down. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. We've got 33 seconds left in the first. A shot by Kleba. Wide open. Another three for Dallas. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. Outside, Sabonis. And he drives in. And the call on the shot and sends him to the line. First personal foul. DeMontis Sabonis is a well-rounded offensive player. The big man can put it on the deck with the best of them. This is his first trip to the line tonight. The first one falls. You know, it's such a pleasure to watch DeMontis Sabonis play the game. Yes, he's got absolutely God-given talent, but he also has an incredible understanding and feel for the game, and he plays it the right way. And Sabonis drops them both. Here's Doncic. 16 points for him.
beyond the arc. That one, no good. And so it's down. Bring the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. That's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Right back after this break. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Dallas. Uh, they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. The Kings trail by seven. On the court for Dallas here in the second. Green is up there with Maxi Kleba. Then there's Irving. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Lively in its center. Here's Vazenkov. Traps in the tray. Vazenkov's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And it's Irving with the ball for the Mavericks. Six away. Here's Lively. Got a piece of it. Herder against Green. Passes to Mitchell. Green deciding where to go with it. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And often players want to discuss calls to the officials. But Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? Well, Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. Free throw good, Green. Both free throws good from Green. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Outside, Sabonis. Pass to Vizenkov. Six on the shot clock, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Here is the list of players with the most boards in the league this month. The NBA's leading rebounds. Demonis Sabonis is on top. He must be spending a lot of time in the weight room because he's shown such strength under the basket. Mavericks leading by six. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Now the Mavericks all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Lovely. Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, DA. Thank you. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebounded. The nine foot shot. Irving, good. Three Irving. Irving's got the lead up to 10 now for the man. Well, solid work from Kyrie right there. This guy never fears going against bigger players. His shot making too good. Right 
Giants Sabonis. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? First team foul. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Lock at six. Pass to Vizenko. The offensive rebound. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Sabonis. Domantas Sabonis has the ability to keep possessions alive. He's crafty getting position, gets to the offensive window. That's nicely done. They get it back. Lively, that's good. Lively's got six points. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Down low, there's Sabonis. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. Boy, you cannot give Sabonis this kind of advantage. He's got the kind of touch and focus necessary to score it. Kleba with a screen on Mitchell. Irving drives in. This one for three. Another miss by Irving. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. And let's take a moment here to see some of the numbers for DeMontis Sabonis. First in rebounding. And he's in the top ten in field goal percentage. Really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds. What a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. And the first one at the line is good. Keegan Murray's checked in for the Kings. Ellis comes in for Kevin Herter. Dallas making a switch here. And Mitchell drops them both. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Moving against Mitchell. Pass to Prosper. Green with a screen on Murray. Here's Irving. That doesn't go in either for Irving. The Kings trail by six. Mitchell passes to Ellis. Just five on the clock. He kicks to Murray. From past the arc, buries the long-range jumper. Murray's got 14 points for the game. And Murray makes that catch-and-shoot jumper look much easier than it actually is. Here's Irving. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. They ran that set to perfection and got a terrific look out of it. And part of the show tonight, Doris, Kyrie Irving's phenomenal handle. I mean, Kevin, if you ask any NBA player who their favorite to watch is, many will come up with the name Kyrie Irving. It's the ability to have that elite handle, the footwork, the creativity, the ability to shoot a jumper, the pull-up, the lay-in. This guy is absolutely amazing. Kevin Herter, he is checked in for Sacramento. The Mavericks also with a sub. Axum's checked in. Pass to Lively. On the wing, Hardaway. Monk defending. Exum kicks to Hardaway. There's the pick. Three-pointer. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He's got five. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. Inside, here's Monk. And then Monk with the dunk. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He one of the best in the business, absolutely. On the wing, Irving. Tries the spin move. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This guy is as difficult to cover as there is in the NBA. Kyrie Irving, the master at drawing contact. 
The Mavericks shoot their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. And some changes here for the Kings. Barnes comes in for Kevin Herter. And it's Fox in for Malik Monk. Both free throws good for Irving. I think one of the things you have to be in awe of is how creative and how elusive Kyrie Irving is to deal with when he's cooking offensively. This guy truly a remarkable talent. Now here's Murray. He's got 14. If the drive. Mavericks. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Luka Doncic. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. Free throw, good, Murray. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Dante Exum is checked in for P.J. Washington. And Doncic is subbed in for Irving. Dallas leading by six. There's the pass to Doncic. Over Fox. Doncic, no good. Sacramento's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ballgame. That one goes in. Yeah, instinctively, too. Fox there looking to be a ball mover, a facilitator. And that's one reason why his team is playing well. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 16. Exum sets a screen for Doncic. Doncic knocks in the three. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. Fox passes to Sabonis. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They are just killing him on the interior. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And so far this season, it's, it's been average at best at the line. Only 71% as a shooter. One shot. And that one misses. And usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage, Doris, Daniel Gaffney. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. That one good for two. Well, Luka Doncic relishes the opportunity to control the action, and right now he is cooking the defense. Fox against Doncic. Murray a screen on Doncic. Fox kicks to Murray. The kick out to Fox. Sabonis' a screen on Doncic. Nailed from three-point land. Fox has got 16. Yeah, when Fox gets into a rhythm, he is tough. Having himself a night. Outside, Jones. Passes it to Hardaway. And here's Doncic from the arc. Rebound by the Kings. Well, it's definitely within striking distance now. Yeah, but they've got to make each possession count on both sides of the floor. Here's Fox. Lays it up and banks it in. Now just a two-point Maverick lead. And he gives up pounds to a lot of guys defending him, but that has never kept Fox from being in attack mode. The three for Doncic. Knocks down the three ball. Doncic has got eight points here in this quarter. 
and that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. Sabonis finds Fox. Second chance shot from T. Pellis. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, two things there, guys. Tim Hardaway Jr., the power, the concentration, refuses to be stopped when he wants to score. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. McGee comes in for Sabonis. And it's Malik Monk in for Ellis. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. to me is a terrific all-around player, right? He can score it. He can pass it. He'll rebound the position. There's a lot to like about his game. Now, here's Fox. 18 points for him. Murray a screen on Doncic. Trills the three-pointer. Fox has got 21. Boy, he's putting pressure on the defense. That's two from downtown this period. Irving for three. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his life. And let's get a look at a group of point guards who have been rolling in the second half of the season with some very important and impressive point totals. Number one, Luka Doncic. And, of course, De'Aaron Fox. And this is a group of guys who have that uncanny knack to simply score and, and put points up while they find ways to get the rest of the team involved. Really, the complete package you know they truly are whether it's one-on-one -on -one situations or staying within that team framework that is a gifted group offensively and you know you said it their ability to put up big points from the one guard spot is what really sets them apart and monk is an interesting player a combo guard with fantastic scoring potential quick on both ends of the floor and he sinks the second And he nails the third. The Kings come into this one following a loss to the Mavericks. Fox against Doncic. Buries it down low. Doncic has got 26. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Here's Fox. Count it from 12. And how about the mid-range shooting? of Fox definitely capable of sinking those shots with consistency. Irving against Monk. And it's Dallas with another. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Fox dishes to Murray. There's the drive. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got six assists in the game. It's difficult to stop Murray on the drive. He really moves well for his side. Anjic passes to Irving. 151 left to play in the first half. Gafford, well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Gafford got six. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now, here's Monk. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. Murray kicks to Fox. Five to shoot. Nobody near Barnes. A three-pointer, no good. Boy, a wide-open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Releases from 15. It's hauled in by the Kings. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Kicks it to Monk. McGee sets the pick for Monk. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. 
just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Dante Exum is checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Doncic passes to Irving. Exum with a wide open look. Jones, no one around him. Derek Good on the triple. Jones has got his second bucket. Well, how about the outstanding vision from the crafty point guard, Dante Exum, seeing the floor beautifully. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. McGee finds Fox. And here's Barnes for three. And it's Kyrie Irving with the rebound. And so it's Irving who brings it up for Dallas. Six-point game. Now Doncic for three. And Irving with the basket on the assist Irving. by Doncic. Three. Irving's got 11 here in this quarter alone. It's been all That's about Luka Davis. He's up to 26 points in the game now. Just keeps pouring in the buckets. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? So I come out with a, you know, intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know, guys are in a in a great rhythm and we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Hello and welcome, and what a first half for Cool Hand Luka, Luka Doncic. It's crazy how in control Luka really has been. He's running the offense, he's hunting his shots. We're just watching the Luka show right now. Almost as good as our show, but not quite. And switching things up just a bit, let's look ahead at the upcoming schedule. And looking at the Rockets matchup, they're the favorites to win, but not by much. We say this a lot, but it's going to take a total team effort. I've said this many times before, but they'll need to play within themselves to minimize those mistakes. Could be a bit of a trap game. We'll see. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. I don't know that you necessarily think of him as someone who's going to create for others, but boy, all night he's been willing to make the extra pass. The Kings trail by nine. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. De'Aaron Fox out there with Ellis. And it's Barnes and at the small forward. That's the group for Mike Brown as we get going here in the second half. Fox is screen on Jones. Back to Fox. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Fox has got the first points to start out the third quarter for Sacramento. Fox against Doncic. to Gafford. Back to Doncic. Doncic going to work. If you allow Luka to establish position because of his size, his strength, his footwork, turn the lights out. Fox against Doncic. Murray a screen on Doncic. Pass to Murray. It's tipped. Shot clock at six. Over in the corner, Ellis misses the three. And that's how you have to defend him out there on the three-point line. Played him perfectly. Donchich outside. 
on the wing, Irving. He's guarded by Ellis. Doncic kicks to Irving. And the call will be against Sabonis. That's foul number two for him. Unbelievable release from Kyrie. Boy, shot ready on the catch. Kyrie Irving. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Daniel Gafford at the line for one. Free throw, no good. The Kings trail by 12. Barnes can't get it to go. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And the call will be against Sabonis. And that'll be his third foul so far. Second team foul. Ellis against Irving. Produced green on Ellis. Irving passes to Gaffer. Well, really nice job using his length on the defensive end. DeMontis Sabonis trying to impede the shooter. Fox against Doncic. The pass to Murray. Launches a three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Now, here's Doncic. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Washington kicks to Jones. Four on the clock. Irving for three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Fox deciding where to go with it. To end the drought. Sacramento again missing. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. And here is Doncic. Harrison Barnes getting it to go from deep. And why don't we quickly go to the 2K leaderboard and find out which shooting guards have been the hottest at the free throw line this season. Fourth, Kyrie Irving. We've gotten used to seeing a lot of terrific free throw shooters from the two guard ranks. But even so, it shouldn't take away from what these players have been able to do up there. You know, that's a very steady bunch at the line. No doubt about that. In any kind of clutch situation, if it's one of those players shooting the big free throw, you can be sure he's going to come through. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Ellis. And so he hits both. Boy, Luca's strength, his size, his savvy, puts him at the free throw line so often. And it's Fox with the ball for the Kings. Dishes to Murray. He kicks it to Monk. Passes it to Sabonis. In the corner, Murray with it. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Murray's got 21 in the game. And this team needs to keep getting it to Murray. He is pouring it in, feeling it right now. Doncic passes to Irving. Bucket is good. Kyrie Irving's got five points now in the quarter. The level of talent Kyrie Irving has is extraordinary. And his finishing ability, creativity, English at the rim, unreal. 
Now, here's Sabonis. Ten points for him. Fox with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Connects from three-point range. Barnes has got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Kings. Monk again serving. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Fox passes to Murray. Lobbed up there for Barnes, and it's Barnes slamming it down. Boy, can Barnes just get all brutal on the catch and flush. Good luck with that. Outside Irving. On the wing, Dungeon. Guarded by Fox. There's the three. And that's good. Luka Doncic for three. Three points. Doncic has got 33. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Sabonis finds Fox. Puts one up from 19. Again, Sacramento. Well, DeMontis Sabonis is one of the outstanding passers from the post position that we have in today's game. If you're open, he'll find you. Now, here's Doncic. 33 points for him. Pass to Washington. Good. And the assist DJ goes to Washington. Doncic has got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Credit where credit is due. P.J. Washington is one hard-working guy on the floor. Isn't he great? He's got that greatness to him, Kevin. Values every chance he gets to affect the game. And like you said, he puts a ton of effort into his play. And Doncic gets it to go. Well, the tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. Up top, Sabonis. The dish to Barnes. Over Jones. Barnes can't get it to go. Mavericks leading by 11. Doncic feeling it out. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Good job in the low post. Doncic has got the lead up to 13 now for the man. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. Fox from outside. Mavericks with the rebound. Gafford's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Irving against Monk. Down low. Here's Doncic. Count the bucket Luka coming Doncic. off a perfectly placed assist. The assist. Doncic Jared has Jones. got 39. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. The three for Doncic. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Barnes finds Fox. That three off the mark. Dallas leading by 12. Outside Irving. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. Rebound by Murray. Sacramento's gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Fox passes to Murray. Sabonis high post. Kicks it to Murray. Jacks up a three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Sabonis. Sabonis has got assist number seven for him tonight. Outside Irving. It's hauled in by the Kings. Outside, Fox. Pass to Sabonis. Over in the corner, Barnes. A three-pointer off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And Gafford throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. To the inside, Sabonis, and the rejection by Gafford. Irving dishes to Doncic. 
Here's the triple. Sinks the three-pointer. Doncic has got 42 in the game. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. So the Kings call timeout their first. some changes. JaVale McGee's check in for Sabonis. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Barnes. Dallas also making some changes. Josh Green comes in for P.J. Washington. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Kyrie Irving. The Kings trail by 14. Outside, Fox. McGee sets the pick for Fox to the middle, and it's McGee with the jam. And you just have to have an appreciation how under control Fox plays. I like watching him work the ball through the D in that pick and roll. Now, here's Doncic, and he has 42. Releases. And it's Dallas with another. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Two minutes remaining in the third. Now the pass to McGee. Minutes. He dishes it to Fox. Shoots over Doncic. Shot is good. And the Mavericks lead is cut down to 12 points again in the basket from Fox. And the experience that Fox is garnering. This is a guy who is used to having hands in his face, but it doesn't seem to affect him in the slightest. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. 127 left in the third quarter. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt here. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play could spark his group. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Sacramento making their last shot. And Green gets it to go. Yeah, Luca, just a preternatural gift for finding the open man. What a pass. McGee is screen on Doncic. Fox finds McGee. Ooh, a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Steps back. Here's Doncic. McGee with the block. Monk against Hardaway. Monk, the pass to Fox. In the corner, Murray with it. Passes it to Monk. McGee sets the pick for Monk. Offline with his three. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. To the paint, here's Gafford. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's Dallas leading by 10. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right part of the fourth quarter next. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Dallas leading by 10. 
on the court for the Mavericks. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Hardaway is out there with Washington, and it's Lively in at the five. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Here he goes. Stolen by Washington. Dishes it to Doncic. Back to Washington. And on the way from Irving for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Irving's got 26 points. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distances half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. The 11-footer. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. Still Kings ball. Green is checked in for Doncic. For the Mavericks. Number eight, Josh Green. And Sacramento has possession. Trailing by 13. Herder kicks to Fox. Down to five on the shot clock. Towards a shot good. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Here's Lively. And that one good. And the Mavericks lead by 12. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Pass to Sabonis. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, to me, the size of Sabonis creates problems for the defense. You cannot be careless in how you guard this guy. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Dallas guys the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting which is why they continue to just fire away from deep I think another thing that's striking here tonight the ball movement is incredible again and again they're making smart passes to ready shooters first free throw is good Sacramento making a switch here Mitchell's checked in The bonus drops them both. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Monk against Hardaway. Ask it is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, this guy just finds ways to score. Tim Hardaway Jr. able to finish with contact. Tim Hardaway. One shot. That free throw good from Hardaway. The Kings trail by 13. Outside, Sabonis. Dallas foul. Lively. Fourth personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Demontis Sabonis. Shoot two. The first one falls. And Sabonis drops them both. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. away against Monk. Here's the screen. Lively the pass to Hardaway. And it's off from three-point range. The Kings trail by 11. Herter on the wing. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Kevin Herter. Herter's got himself on the board with three there. 
the way against Monk. Outside Irving. Let's it go with the three. Zabonis grabs the ball. The Kings have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. No one near Herder as he lets it fly. Another three for Sacramento. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. Hardaway finds Washington. Here's Irving. And he can't stop the run as he misses. The defense not a factor there. Bowery surprised him. He couldn't capitalize. Green against Monk. Pass to Orte. Back to Monk. A three ball. It's rebounded by Dallas. Ivory's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Irving. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seated. And finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Go into the rack with energy, and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Here's Green after the Kings pick up two. Irving passes to Lively. Six to shoot. Beyond the arc. And it's Kyrie Irving with the three. Irving. Irving's got three. six points in the quarter. And now he's starting to get it going. Four three-pointers in the game for him, and three have come in this half. Herter kicks to Mitchell. Sabonis is screen on Irving. Mitchell passes to Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. What you love is a big man who understands the timing of a roll. Set the screen, get to the open spot. That is beautiful basketball. Now, here is Irving. And here is Green. Hardaway for three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis is... Yep, it goes. And the Dallas lead is cut down to just two points on the bucket from Herder. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Here's Irving. Connects in the foul line Kyrie jumper. Irving. Irving's got 13 points in the second half. That is Kyrie Irving in a nutshell. You want to give him the mid-range, he'll take it. The consummate three-level scorer. Sabonis is screen on Irving. Monk, the pass to Sabonis. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. They set the screen. They get the rebound. Ivory. And he jams it with authority. And here now the Kings. They're on a 16-7 run. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Murray's checked in for Chris Duarte. Ellis comes in for Malik Monk. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Mitchell. Dallas calls timeout. Let's go, everybody. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. Now he wants his team to stop playing it safe. He said, we've got this lead by doing what we do. He can we can keep it if we don't get too cautious. We can play our game. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Here's Fox. Following the three-point basket by Dallas. Over Doncic. Fox, no good. Mavericks leading by seven. Jones kicks to Doncic. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And Gafford throws it down. Assist from. That gives him a double-double in this one. 10 points and 12 rebounds. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. The pass to Sabonis. Good. 
out and a nice assist from Fox. Sabonis has got 21. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Here's Irving. And another Irene assist. Irving. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammate. Fox against Doncic. Fox passes to Ellis. Another three for Sacramento. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Irving for three. It's hauled in by the Kings. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. To the middle. Here's Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Uh, Sabonis has proven I am now a premier force on the offensive end. He's cooking. Irving with the ball. Now guarded by Fox. And the call will be against Sabonis. That will be foul number five on him. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Sacramento. Then for the Mavericks, Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Washington. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Derek Jones. Here's Doncic. Kleba finds Gafford. Here's Doncic. Drops in the layup for two. Doncic has got 46 points. Wow, you see the physical defense against Luka didn't even matter. He powers right through it. Moving against Ellis. The dish to Fox. Shoots over Doncic. Fox, no good. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Now, here's Gaffer. And here's Doncic from the arc. Hits it from three-point range. And now it's an eight-point Dallas lead. What an exhibition he's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. Passes to Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. I'll tell you, DeMontis Sabonis has got some big-time athleticism. That's a pretty dumb call. Doncic against Fox. Here's Irving. And another assist for him. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. At the line for the Mavericks. Kyrie Irving at the line for one. Free throw, good Irving. We've seen players criticize for skipping their media obligations after tough losses, Greg. How egregious is that in, in your opinion? Well, you know, they say the true test of character is how you respond to when things aren't going your way. So, for me, it's important to be accountable in those tough moments. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Gafford trying to break free. You know, Irving isn't just a perimeter player. He's so dynamic inside as a scorer. His strength is savvy. Tough to keep the defense on balance. Yeah, and luckily, they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. And so Fox will bring it up for the King. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Fox 
Fox has got 13 points here in the second half alone. Mavericks leading by seven. Pass to Kleba. Monk against Irving. Kleba sets the screen for Irving. Driving in. Count it good. Irene Irving. Irving's got 40 points. I could make the case Kyrie Irving is the best ball handler of all time. On the triple drive, look out. And the rejection by Kaffer. The shot by Monk is no good. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Down low. The kick out to Irving. Kaffer to screen on Monk. Pass to Doncic. Outside Hardaway. And three off the mark. The Kings trail by nine. Monk dishes to Fox. Shoots over Doncic. Fox, no good. Dallas shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Over Fox. Doncic, no good. And for the Kings, their shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Here's Irving on the money from 12 feet away. Irving's got 42 in the game. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Mavericks. Two times this season, turnovers have cost them, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. And this will now push it to a total of 44 games in the win column on the season. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Luka Doncic. This guy putting on a passing clinic. If you want to know how to run an offense, roll back the tape from this evening. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Doncic against Fox. Now, here's Doncic. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. And That's in the, the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G.F. Yeah, pretty won. hostile environment. Yeah, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So what made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, had a great game. You know, we had a. I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. Now let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic.